Ken here, the unemployed prop guy. Today we're going to talk about radio control props. One of my uh, favorite things to make. I love the idea of standing on the wing and controlling things on stage and the audience not either expecting them or knowing what's about to happen. Um, we'll go through a few of the ones that I've made and I'll tell you about some of the techniques and uh, problem solving that I had to do to come up with uh, creative solutions to problems. <laughs> um, hope you enjoy. Okay, the first one was a lock I made for Bonnie and Clyde. There's a scene where the actor was going to shoot off the lock to get into a gun cabinet to steal the guns from an armory. Um, the director really didn't say that he wanted anything to happen to the lock. It was just going to be a flash. But I came up with the idea of making the lock kind of drop down. So I gutted the lock, put a little uh, servo motor in there, radio control, hit all the electronics inside the lock. Um, I was able to put the battery on the outside in the back because the audience can never see it. So um, I will show you how it works and uh, then we'll go to the next one. Okay, this is a pressure gauge I made for a uh, invention cart for Beauty and the Beast. Um, the great thing is I could control the needle with um, one channel of the remote control and it freed up a second channel on this particular remote control where I had a couple flags in the back that could flap um, I will show you right now. Okay, as you can see, I move the dial on the remote control and the needle moves. Uh, lots of control and uh, visually it's quite exciting. Okay, first I gutted the gauge and then um, attached the servo and the extension rod. And it's pretty simple to make it uh, move, just adjusting the length of the rod and the throw. Okay, what you see here is a image I got from the designer um, for the inventing cart. Um, I saw that gauge there. I'm like, hey, I got the great gauge um, to make work, and we just saw that. Um, then I saw the toast flying out of the machine, and I was trying to figure out how am I going to do that? So let's look at what I did. Uh, first, I gathered a whole bunch of just junk <laughs> to make the whole uh, cart. Um, then I found a toaster. And what I decided to do is I gutted the toaster, uh, added some foam core for the chutes. Um, the mechanism that makes the toast normally pop up um, was actually spring-loaded, but it didn't have enough force to make... The toast fly out. So as you can see here, I decided to use rubber bands. Uh, the cheap, I could keep on adding them until I found the exact amount of force I could use or need, and I could replace them every couple shows and not worry about uh, them malfunctioning. Um, on the right hand side is a uh, servo, I'm sorry, solenoid, um, that was designed originally for people that French door their cars, little popper to open up uh, your car door remote control wise. Um, I had this attached to an L bracket, which I show a close up in a second. And then I had that attached to a remote control uh, unit and on a separate uh, key fob. So I'd press that, the cable would pull the L bracket and when the L bracket got moved back it released the carriage that was um, being tensioned by the rubber bands and the toast would go flying. Um, I'll show you the whole video right now of it in action. Oh one more thing so I had the whole thing set up on a 12 volt battery hidden um, in what I call the oven um, it ran the light that was always on and then when I hit the key fob to make the toast fly out another LED strip um, 
underneath the toaster would go on just to give a little uh, something something and um, then I would hit the other remote control and make the gauge go crazy and the flags move and here it is in action Okay, uh, I'm going to introduce you to Plucky. Um, I made this remote control chicken for Into the Woods. And um, the great thing about working in theater versus film is we have something called the 15 foot rule. You walk away from something you made or painted um, 15 feet, you close one eye and jump on one foot. And if it looks good, it look good for the audience. <laughs> Um, yeah, if I was making this for film, I would have done it completely different. Uh, I would have had hopefully more money and time and would have done a fiberglass form buck and, you know, kind of been a little bit more realistic with it. But for theater, this, this passes. Um, so what I did is I took a remote control RC car, built a frame, um, made the wings and the head being able to work because I had a four channel remote control. And so I was able to steer it and um, with two of the channels and powered with the other with one of those channels. And the other two channels, I was able to use a servo in the head to turn the head. And the other servo, I made the wings flap a little bit. So it gave a good enough realistic idea of what a chicken running on stage looks like and getting chased. Um, I'll show you it in action. Okay, so here's a remote control I used. It has four channels, like I said. And the great thing is it was programmable so I could set all the parameters. And here goes his head. And like I said, it's been used a lot and abused and needs a little love. And, uh, you know, it moves back and forth. And on stage, I was able to get it pretty uh, smooth and look like a... Uh, chicken <laughs> well i'm gonna wrap up this uh segment of uh, rc please if you have any questions feel free to uh ask me and uh yeah i will see you on the next video plucky says bye